Oh, this is a ton of plays. Goof Troop. We are now done with level 1 and level 2. It is time to head back to playing Goofy. And this time we are also going to go to the next level in which things are about to be a bit more spooky and nasty in one form or another. Anyways, this right here is going to be the third level of the game. Hey Dad, could this be the Pirate Fortress? Gosh, son, I don't know. Let's knock on the door and ask. So yeah, Pirate Fortress, or what looks to be Pirate Fortress, is level 3. You think it's the Pirate Fortress though? Eh, we have to find out. So pick up one of the plants and step on the switch, and the door opens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So see the puzzle here, need to move accordingly. Let me see, I'm a bit too slow on this one. It's actually a place where I could play Max will be much better. Just follow the old one, and up we go, and we can go through. This is kind of crap because we don't have any way to get through these guys. But there's, there's no real way I can do this, so we just have to play smart to get these fat ass pirates around. Well, of course, you can just die like that, which is a bit more not what you want to do, but it works. Go around, we get the key, and we can advance to the next part of the stage. Here we get. For example, some cool stuff. There's three, two things to get here. Just get rid of these bats. Here we get a continue. As well as the bell. And a new item. The lantern. Or what say, the... The torchlight or whatever. The light. So this light will be useful in some of the rooms here because it's gonna be pitch dark. Oh, this might be a bit too... Oh, well, that was close. <sighs> okay, so we managed to find here. Uh, now this next room... Let's go through this one. Here we have some ghosts too. It can be a bit annoying. I like to follow you around, and they, of course, they go fast if you are nearby. If not, they will just go slow. Go through here. Oh no, my that doesn't work this way. Um, do this one. Oh yeah, crushed the glass, of course. Oh wow, that's brutal. Oh well. At least we got to explore this place, but that was kind of waste. Let's just leave this place. We can continue down here to the next room. Anything there? Yeah. Living thing. At least we got one of these, which is pretty nice. Step on the four switches to continue here. Oh. We can go through. And this place is pitch dark. But you want to go through this, go use this one. You won't be stacking those, so you just don't need two of them, you just need one of them. This one is going to go around, there's a shovel here that I can use because there's a digging room nearby. Two shovels here, of course, if you play two players, so you can both do digging. Not just go through here. And here you can go dig for some stuff if you want to, I'm just going to skip it. Take this and throw at these pirates. So nice to play Goofy for this level. This staircase here, that means there's a place we're gonna go up later to get some cool stuff. Let's continue in an extra life. Can't reach there now, but we can go and reach them later. And here we see, here's the steps. This leads to the next level. Oh, that was close. Now we are on the green floor with a lot of these... Uh, 
statues. But some of them, of course, are guaranteed to be fake. But past them, never reveal yourself. Now, they are not living, so they are not dead forever. They're just gonna get stumped. I'll take away this one. And we have this kind of room. You stand in front of here safe, have your head up, and then throw it at the cannon three times. Four times. And you can move on. Now we have in more of these pirates here, we need to use this one to go through. Just go back this one to get it away. Advise you to get one of these here, just key save it for this guy. Don't get hit by the sword. Then we use this uh, piece of tree to get the key. And now we can continue to the next room. Ah, this one. Just go all the way around and you can get to the door. Do not go to the middle and stay and wait if you are a bit slow or can't go through. And after that, you go use the key and we can move on to the next room. A lot of pirates here. So let's just get get them stunned or get one of these uh, pots, throw it at them, or just run away and get to the other side. Get rid of this single pirate here. Oh, he's gonna dodge. Yeah, dodge twice at least. Let's open this door. And here we have a note. Switch plates. Push the switches in the correct combination. Yeah, this one basically is a note for a puzzle that we're going to do next. While we do it, let's go and get this one. Yeah, do you gonna see what it says here? It says... O-E-P-N. You might be wondering, okay, how do we open this door then? Well, how do you think we get the door up? Well... Think about it. What is the word for to get a door up? It's called O P E N. Open. Let's just get this key. Move to the next room. And here as well, we have another one puzzle. You need to push the uh, this ones in the right combination in order to advance to the next one. Now, I know exactly how to do this one. It's not the same one as the other one, but here you have to go first to the top right. Then you go to the bottom left. You go to the top left, and then you end up at the bottom right. Finally, we are in a room with a lot of pirates, three of them actually. That's one of the cool things with, with the red pirate. The red pirate can actually pick up um, these pots and it can throw it back at you. Not only that, but sometimes they can even catch the pots. Now here again, pick or knock the door, then pick up the next key. Move on to the next room. There's well a lot of pirates, let's just throw these things at them, get rid of them. Then, of course, let's use the key first. Then let's go back around. Let's use the slinger here to get the key. Now that we have a key, I should go up, pick up the slinger. Go around, we have the parts again, but the door is already opened. Can continue. Screwing all these enemies. And then we can move on to the next floor. Mm -hmm. This one can be a bit different. Oh, I'm basically missed, screwed up. Push this guy away. That's a bit rude. But everything is allowed in war and love warfare. Now to broke through here, you need to use the slinger 
to get to the other side. Then, pick up this one. I'm not gonna worry about the bell, I wanna keep the key. So I'm just going to go up here. Then we pick up the, uh, the light. Use this one. And let's enter. The room here, there are enemies here, so beware. These fat pirates are here. Don't be aware when you're going around here, they can surprise you, don't know where this they, where they are. There's a credit here as well. Let's just play as Goofy, we can take out the enemies in a single hit. That's a nice, nice thing in case you're getting worried. We go through the door here. And we have these freaking cannons again. Pick them up one by one. Still have one more hit. They have four hits then, yeah. Four hits they need to take. That's it. There we go. These ones are taken out, and now we can head on to the next room. Now here we have these again. Fat pirates can move these uh, blocks, which is kind of annoying, as well as they can roll around. There we go. And of course we have the boss key. That means the boss might be getting close. Oh, here it is. This one you just have to go through, select the boss key, open it up, and let's go inside for boss number three. Here we have it. Two skeletons. In this castle made of stones, I will crush you with my bones. I will fill your heart with dread. I will smash you with my head. Yeah. Take notice what they say. Basically, the weak points here is their actual head. You see these bones they throw out? Pick them up after thrown out and throw it at them. You need to beat both of these uh, skeletal enemies to win this fight. Now the red enemy, oh damn. The red skeleton throws his uh, boomerang kind of rest right away, while the other one's bouncing around. So you need to be careful when you're going around the blue skeleton. That's kind of why I would actually recommend to take out the blue skeleton first. He only has two of these in compared to the other one, three. I still think with this one is much more annoying, because they can just keep bouncing around. So you have your eyes open where they throw, and just try to deflect, or at least try not to get hit. So there we go, let's pick that one up, and let's watch out where he jumps. You can't hit them in the air when they're jumping, so be careful. Oh no, there's too many of them! Wow, that's too many! Oh my goodness, I have to be careful now, I only have two more lives. Now we're gonna throw his head. This is even more annoying, because the head you can't do anything against, but he will only be chasing you for a while, and then you pick it back up. You can hit the head again, and he will be basically going back. So just dodge the head, and he will go back again. Here comes more of these. Come on! I picked that up! It's not too good about these ones. Just go away from these. Whoa, 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 wait. Okay, we're good. We have one. Oh, crap. Oh, that was close. I'm trying to focus the blue one first because I feel the blue one is harder. The other one I think is easy. Ah, oh, there we go. The blue one is down. It means we have one more to go, the red one. So he will pop his head after he's taken a lot of hits. I think the red one is easier because, yes, he throws one more than the other ones, but they don't bounce. They go straight forward and it's easier to know where they will be. There we go. There we go. So when he's reaching about half health, he will instead try to throw his head. 
go. And one more. Okay, he still wants to push us. Remember, dodge the head. Don't get hit by the head. I'll chase him for a while, and then if there's no skeleton bones up, he will throw him out instead. Let me throw out his head. Don't get hit by it. There we go. Okay, he's gonna throw out his head again. I guess he wants to do that instead. Just don't get hit. And there we go. Throw some bones, please. Thank you. And that's it! We've beaten the second skeleton, and this course is done. Stage clear. That's level 3. So this level was a bit more different, as you can see. A bit different puzzles, even some dark rooms, and the boss eh, was a bit different as well. These two skeletons surely can be a bit different to abide with. Luckily we went through fine, and we are ready for the fourth stage. And then on the fourth stage, we will once again be playing as Max. But just be aware though that this fourth, this stage, while we had no problems this this time, it could have been worse. Regardless, we beat the third stage, and now the two stages remaining are fourth and fifth stages. Next time, we're gonna play for stage four with Max. If you have any feedback, come on, let's play one, discuss this game, and leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.